Hello guys, welcome to today's Pandas interview question. So today's question is that uh, how to select the rows where both Namita and Piyush has said no to the contestant in Shark Tank India all pitches data frame. So basically there is a data of a most popular you know, Indian series is called as Shark Tank India in .csv format. And that data is having two columns, one with Namita and one with Piyush. So the question asked to us is that how do we select that portion or how do we retrieve all those rows where Namita and Piyush has said no to the contestant. So let's see how does the data looks like. So at the very beginning, I'll import all the necessary libraries. So the first library that I'm going to import is pandas. So I'll say import pandas as pd. And the second library I'll import is the numpy. So I'll say import numpy as np. Now both of the module has got loaded into the memory. So now I require to read my data frame, which is there in my CSV file. So I'll select a variable and I'll call it df. And I'll say df equals to pd dot read underscore CSV. And then I have to write the name of the file. So I'll directly copy from here. And along with that, I will use dot CSV. Enter. So my data frame has got loaded. Let's check. I said DF. And when I run this, I see that we have this data frame loaded in which I could see two columns, one with Namita and one with Piyush. And you could see that there are, you know, values like N and Y. N basically stands for no and Y stands for yes. So a question is being asked to us, hey, retrieve all the rows where both Namita and Piyush is having the value N because N stands for no. So let's see how do we do it. So basically there are two, two, uh, two options to, to solve this particular query, one using ILOC and one using LOC. Uh, the thing is, this question is all about conditional filtering and not just that, it's about double conditional filtering. So basically there are two conditions. One, Namita is no, and another one, Piyush is no. And that two, both conditions should be satisfied at once. It means both condition should be joined by and condition. It's and condition, let's see. So the first condition is that <clears throat> DF of Namita is no or N. This is what the condition looks like. And the second condition is, I'll just put a space and I'll just write the condition. D of, of uh, Piyush, if I'm not wrong, the spelling is correct. Correct. Piyush equals to no as well. <clears throat> no as well, okay. So there are two conditions. We know that in conditional filtering, when there are two conditions, it's better to encapsulate these condition with a parenthesis. So I'll just use a parenthesis and because this both conditions are supposed to get satisfied, I'll use an and operator and it goes like this, we, an and in between these two conditions. Now, this is what the actual condition is saying that Namita should also be equal to N and Pu should also be equal to N and both are joined together by a and condition, okay? So as I told that there are two methods of solving this problem. One is by ILOC and one is by LOC. ILOC stands for index location. So basically in ILOC, we are supposed to give the row indexes of all the rows that we wanted to retrieve. So how do we get all the rows where these both conditions are satisfied? For that, we, you remember we just imported a library NumPy over here. So NumPy has a functionality, it's called where. And I'll just write it down. I'll say np dot where, and I'll put this condition inside. Now, when I run this, np dot where will tell what are the row indices where these two conditions are satisfied. Okay, so we have this indices number, right? Row indices number. So all we need to do is to type df dot iloc. And inside that, I'll just put the entire thing like this. 
now when i run this i see there are 76 rows where namita and piyush both has said no to the contestant okay and there is one another method that is lock lock stands for location so location or dot lock it just takes the condition itself and it will return you back with all the rows where the condition is satisfied so i'll say df dot lock and inside lock all i require is to put the condition so i'll just take both the condition from here copy it and i'll directly paste it over here like this and when i run this i see that again i got the same result 76 rows with 15 columns and you know all the rows is having namita and piyush as n okay thank you